Hello, my name is Alec. Welcome to Use the Science. Today, we are going to test whether Coca-Cola can fight slugs. On the internet, there were many claims that Coca-Cola was a wonderful slug fighter, but I'm a bit dubious about it, which is why I'm going to try and find out. It's a rather wet summer, so there are lots of slugs in the garden and they eat absolutely everything. The plan is to open my Coca-Cola bottle and pour it into five different containers. One of which is big, the other medium and, the, and three small ones. We're going to place them all over the garden where we know slugs live and leave them overnight. In the morning we're going to find out what's happened. In our experiment we're going to be testing two things. Whether, Coke, whether slugs are attracted to Coca-Cola and whether, and whether more or less are attracted if there are bigger or smaller amounts of it. And the second thing we're testing is whether slugs would die if they drank Coca-Cola. Let's have a look at the science. Why might this work? Because Coca-Cola is sweet and it smells nice, slugs will be attracted to it. But since it has citric, carbonic and phosphoric acids in it, it means that when the slugs drink it, they'll die. This is our test site one. It's very wet here, so there, are, so there are lots of slugs gathering here. You can see the trails. I'm going to pour some Coca-Cola into here. So this is our test site two. It's very damp here, and slugs are gathering here a lot. Let's pour some Coca-Cola in. So this is test site three, my strawberry patch. You can't see the slugs, but there are plenty of them here because they always devastate my strawberries and there are never any left for me. So I've chosen a bigger tub than before on number two. Probably a little bit more, I'd say. Good. So let's move on to test site four. This is test site four, my brother's raspberry patch. As you can see, there are lots of trails, and of course, you see the raspberries, they also eat them a lot. So I'll pour a bit of Coca Cola in. This is test site five. There are absolutely ginormous slugs here, and I've seen lots of them. So I think that this is a really important place. I'm going to pour some Coca Cola in here and see whether I find any of those big slugs again. It's morning now, so let's have a look at the traps we set last night with Coca Cola. Test site one doesn't have any slugs in the Coca-Cola and there aren't any dead slugs in the area around it. There, of course there is, a slu there's, there is a slug there but it's definitely not dead because it's moving and there's a slug trail over here. So slugs are definitely gathering but they're just not drinking. If they did drink any of the Coca-Cola they're not dead doesn't look like any of the coca cola has been drunken and also that I can't see any slugs around here. Check if that's alive or not. Yep, it's definitely alive because it's moving. So, looks like at test site 2 there wasn't anything. None of, none of the slugs have died here. Let's have a look at test site 3. As you can see, there were the slugs were definitely very interested in my strawberries, but none of them were one, were one tiny bit interested in the Coca-Cola. As you can see, there are slug trails over there, but there, are no, but there are no slug trails or anything anywhere near the Coca-Colas. 
Oh, look at that. That's a drug almost all of my Coca-Cola, but there are no slugs around. Which is why my conclusion for test site four is that ants are definitely very interested in Coca-Cola, while slugs are not remotely, are not at all even remotely interested in Coca-Cola. Let's have test site five. There are no slugs whatsoever in this area, as you can see. And if there were any, they were not. They were nowhere near interested in the Coca Cola because they're probably roaming around there. So, in conclusion, I'd say that Coca Cola isn't a very useful slug killer. Okay, if you drag them to it and make them drink it, they might get indigestion. But apart from that, they're not really very likely to come. Ants are interested in Coca-Cola, so if you want to feed them, you can, but I'm not sure if it's so healthy for them. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again soon at User Science. Bye!